All right, so we're back. We are. We're back. Let, yeah, let's on. open this package. Look, look at this. Look over here. I shouldn't be showing this because you owe somebody a ball. Yeah, that is, that is not our. Look, she's hiding it. It's gone. Pap. <laughs> somebody that lives in the success community is missing a ball. And if you notify, contact us, I'll make sure that Chase gives you a refund, gives you your money, whatever it costs. Uh, he, he's going to take care of it because that's, that's part of uh, owning a dog. Yeah, but uh, for She's future reference, <laughs> <laughs> just quit, quit she, leaving your, your valuables In outside. their yard. <laughs> Somebody left that in there. It wasn't in our yard. It was one morning when we woke up. Anyway, she's a thief. Uh, he's responsible for her, and he will take care of it. Anyway, let's talk. Stone Motorsports, LLC. Guys, we we dealt with Stone when we first got our, our enclosed trailer a couple years ago, and I asked who had the best pit lights. And a lot of people commented, Stone Motorsports, nobody better. I contacted Von Stone, ordered a set of lights from him. He sent them to me. We were very pleased with them. I actually have them, and I need to put them on one of these trailers. So I contacted Von earlier this year when we had two trailers, and I needed another set of lights. And uh, he got them to us here, apparently. So uh, we fixed to open them up and see what we got in here. I mean, maybe more fishing poles, but it's got his sticker on it, so I'm assuming... This is a set of pit skylights from Stone Motorsport. That'd be pretty cool. And as soon as my uh, Your what? my hostess gets this opened up right here, I'm nervous. Yeah, I can tell. I'm trying to trying to act right on camera. That, that looks like more knife than you used to right there. More, yeah, because I'm used to not having one at all. You, you need me to. Oh. All right. So here we go. Here we go. I can't get a hold of that. There we go. Oh, yeah. So we got the hardware in here. Nicely wrapped. Uh, that's going to be the brackets that mount to the trailer that, that mounts the lights. Very, very well put together. Look at here. We got a, a checklist. I mean, they're, they're straight up professional. Pit Skylights by Stone Motorsports. Uh, I already know it's an excellent product because we have them. I think these may be different than the one. Oh man, carbon fiber. Get out of town. Look at that. Mighty fine. So these are the lightweight carbon fiber ones. And my other ones are excellent, but I can't wait to handle these right here. Thanks again, Vaughn. Stone and Stone Motorsports LLC. Thank y'all. If you guys are in the market for pit lights, open trailer, enclosed trailer, stacker trailer, it don't matter what you got. They can hook you up. Uh, we'll put a we'll put their name on the screen right here to remind you again what right it is. Here. So yeah, right there. Right. Hey, thank y'all so much. Thank really you, appreciate Bonstone. it. Can't wait to get them hooked up and try them out. Hopefully, we'll get them on yeah. for this weekend. I'm glad we're not going to be working in the dark anymore because it's been pretty dark. It has. It has. Yep. I blame that on our purple All right. So, anyway, that's the end of that one. Thank y'all. All right. What's going on, everybody? It's Thursday morning right now. Uh, the car has not been touched since I think Monday whenever we got home. Uh, it got washed and then yesterday evening I pulled the right front off. Uh, went on a little bit of a business trip to uh, uh, anyways. But um, we got a lot to do. We've got a bunch to do. So we are fixing to uh, pull the front end apart and replace the, everything that we've been up there. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing to the right side of the car and uh, maintenance, everything like that. Change the fluids and everything. I'm also going to be putting a vent on the top of my brand transmission. Uh, I don't know if uh, other people have had this issue, but um, Bren actually makes a vent for the top of their, they've got a, a kit that they sell that 
you can get. And then uh, this is a weirs part right here that goes on top of it, a little breather. So uh, anyways, we're gonna install this to the top of our transmission so that maybe we'll stop slinging oil all under the car uh, throughout a night of racing. So uh, that's, uh, that's what we're doing. That's what I'm fixing to be working on. I'm sure Rocky will be over here in the next two hours or so. Dad will be in and out all day. So uh, that's what we've got going on. So y'all stay tuned. We'll throw y'all up on a time lapse and take care of this stuff. All right, so it's been a real easy day. Really hadn't had much going on. No panic, no worries, nothing. Right? Wrong. This has been one of the most stressful days in my racing career. <laughs> And I'm going to tell y'all something. As y'all know, we had a sponsor come through and deliver this engine a few weeks ago. And, man, I'm just like a nervous wreck around it. And it's our engine, and he's very clear about that. But I just, I'm scared to death something's going to happen and, uh, or we're going to do something stupid or anything, you know. And he trusts us with it, you know, and, and just go with it. Well, anyhow, long story short, y'all saw the video. Y'all saw how Chase was running. This thing was a rocket ship. Uh, he hit the wall, he fired it back up after he hit the wall and tried to back up, realized everything was tore up, shut her down, and that was that. Well, he comes home, unloads, washes everything, gets ready to fire it up, to warm it up, change the oil, and it'll barely run. It's acting crazy, boom, 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 all kinds of weird stuff. So he calls me out here immediately. So I go to troubleshooting on it. Rocky gets here, Charles gets here. We're calling people. We've talked to everybody, you know, that, that we depend on, and, and we're, we're troubleshooting. We went through, uh, let's see, we started with carburetors. We swapped the carburetors, did the same thing. We went and did a compression test. Everything's perfect. Uh, checked everything we could think of. We swapped batteries, drained the fuel cell, run out of a five-gallon jug to eliminate the possibility that we had bad fuel in it. We have went through everything. Then we said, hey, it's ignition, ignition stuff. Changed the MSD box. We robbed it out of the other car, put the MSD in here, same thing. Put a coil on it, same thing. Just nonstop, over and over, just checking everything and trying. And as y'all know, I'm always real. I didn't record all this because I'm telling you, I was a panic. I was in a panic. And we, we made a phone call to Chad Mullins. First time I've ever talked to him. Uh, as I was telling him that we hit the wall and this thing's popping and spitting back through the carburetor, he cut me off. He said, distributor, put a distributor in it. Do you have one? I said, yeah, I got one. He said, put a distributor in it. I've seen it before. Reluctor ring, I think he said, come loose in it. I'm like, hmm, okay. It's all new, but we did hit the wall. So uh, I'm assuming that's what you call a reluctor ring. And that thing shouldn't be turning without the rest of it turning. It does have a little roll pin down in there somewhere that's come out. Uh, probably from, from slamming her in the wall. Just one of them weird things that happened. Maybe just parts failure. Anyway, he saved the day. And we put another distributor in. This bad boy fired up. And it's a happy moment around here. But uh, y'all, as you know, we've done some stupid stuff in the past that has put us in jeopardy of tearing something up so we all sat here and just thought before we did anything and was really panicked and it ended up being something so small but whoever would have thought and maybe y'all have had that happen before but i highly recommend if you're having a it, it seemed like it, it would run but it would barely run like it wasn't getting enough fire to it it kept it, it was it was popping back through the carburetor so uh, anyhow, I'm glad to have it fixed, Woo! and we're going to go try to kick some butt this weekend, yes, right, Rock? Yes, sir. So there's that. Later. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Saturday. Um, we are not racing this weekend. Uh, Dad and I made the decision. Well, Dad, Rocky, and I, and Uncle Ted, and several others, Uncle Ed, we all... We all have uh, talked about it. So the first problem, but uh, first problem that we that we ran into is we had some some maintenance issues that uh, costed us two days of work. Cost us two days of work. So uh, with that being said, that meant that our weekly maintenance, our our normal maintenance, was behind a little bit. 
Uh, and that's kind of, I'm not making excuses for our past performance out on the road at all. However, uh, maintenance is, is huge in, in being successful out on the road and at home. So uh, we felt like we couldn't prepare a race car uh, well enough to go out and race locally. So we are going to go and spectate if uh, the weather holds off because that was another factor. It's, uh, it's looking like a chance of rain at both places right at race time. So uh, with that being said, we are going to be taking this weekend off, this coming weekend, and uh, we will go back racing November 17th through the 19th at Deep South. So for now, we're going to pull the body off of this thing and uh, do thorough maintenance, do everything that we normally would to make sure that this thing is right. And we're going to start getting this one ready for the dome. Uh, we need to go and test. We've got several things in the works for it. But uh, we, need to, we need to make sure that both of our race cars are, are on point for both of these events to finish out the season. I got an opening window. You can have a, go, a GoFundMe page, my crazy grandpa. <laughs> you can put that on there. This is the reason I don't talk about him much. He does off the wall shoot. That's what you should say. You think I care because I do not care. So he went to an auction and he bought a fire truck. Not just a fire truck, but a cool one with the ladder on it. Look at that. We're taking this up to the house to play yeah, with that there's ladder. There's a generator in this son of a gun, too. Really? And that side, there's a whole thing. So is this what we're running at the demolition derby? That's a real deal right there, boy. But you know something? So well made. I mean, they made these things to last forever. Mm-hmm. I think it was six hundred and seventy thousand dollars when it was new. What's up, son? I don't think so. Peepaw done bought a fire truck. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look. Yeah, he he's uh he's clearing the side of the road for him. <laughs> he might take the trees out. Is he gonna have to back up? Oh, oh. He's, oh he's got the ladder in the trees. Is that Adrian? I guess to get root. Yep. Mama's home. <laughs> what? not. What's your thoughts? He's not allowed to go anywhere unsupervised ever again. What were you thinking? It looked like it was a good deal. Where was it parked at your house? Where was it? In the driveway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he said they didn't give him the good hose. No, I didn't get a
thing. I've never seen a fire truck like this before. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> Yeah, he was at Nana's. We invited him. <laughs> it's gonna be. Hey, look how at big this. this is? I said, where did you have this park? He said, in my driveway. <laughs> He's parking it out here. going up? So we not only got a fire truck, we also got a police car. Police car. This is for Bubba's enduro race. Yeah, we're coming after Caleb Todd and Spencer Hughes. Yeah. We just don't know if this thing has airbags yet, so we'll have to <laughs> test that. All right, what's going on everybody? It's uh, Tuesday. We have, as you can see, been pretty busy putting a deck on the 21. Uh, we are gonna be finishing that up today. And then uh, we're gonna go to the roof and cell panels, stuff like that on that car. Uh, we may take a break from that and come over here and fix the deck on this one. That way both the decks are, are ready to go. I need to get these back to Drake and Hunter, but... Uh, Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then uh, I don't. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're Only about a half inch tall. You good? I've just, I've had a, a, a rough don't, go. Don't, don't tell him about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reenact it for you here. I got in here while nobody, while they were in here. So this is a reenactment because yeah. I missed it? Yeah, you missed it. And I, I was told him, like, I said, boy, you better, yeah. better not do that when dad's around. I said, because if you do, the whole deck and everything's going to be torn up. I told you I'm ripping that off if, yeah. if it. If you come in and say, hey, Dad, I'm sorry I run over that guy, but I just couldn't see. What? Yeah, I told him. I told them going in the corner, I'm going to be like. <laughs> I, said, Son, you, I said, if you do that. I promise all you. All this is tore yes. up. <laughs> yes. Just one-handed, just. 
Going down the straightaway, I'll push it up. Oh, you you, got you remember a couple it. years ago at the Snowball Derby when that guy got in a wreck, his tire come off, and he come running. They said, he's going to fight somebody. You remember who he went and fought? His crew. <laughs> yeah. I'll be on you like stink on crap, man. I don't think it's going to interfere because of car. No, nah, it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's got that yeah, it, attitude in here. It ain't going to be a problem. Dude. All right, I'm out. I got stuff to do. I ain't got time. Look at this. Look at this. Extra work. Extra work. Scrap metal there. Now he said he messed that up. Extra work. It looks good. It's nice. We got plenty of other stuff to be doing. What does Hot Carl say? I don't know what Hot Carl Watch said. Watch your own bopper. You right. I sent a picture to Uncle Ted, and Uncle Ted approved. Did he? So. Well, there you go. It does look good. I like yeah. the flat black. Yeah, you too. It's it's classic with the with the rolls. I like that. But it's too much work. It's too much extra work. But y'all doing good, man. Keep on keeping on. We need rolled everybody else's stuff. And yeah. I just wanted my own. Well, you got it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next season will look good. Next season, there won't be any need. Uh, well, oh, the season after. That's <laughs> almost like you're admitting that this was stupid. <laughs> no, I just needed to prove to myself that I could do it. Oh, said. Wow. <laughs> well, nothing else needs to be said here. Ain't you, ain't you got? I'm, yeah, I got stuff to do later. All right, so I don't know if we've shown this yet or not that we've gotten to this stage, but this is what this is our roof so far. Decking is complete. We've got to put a spoiler on it, but uh, that's that. We just got back from lunch, though, and uh, we had a truck driver in our front, in our driveway, and uh, he had a delivery for us from uh, Bassett Racing Wheels. So uh, we are, or not we, Dad is bringing my pallet of wheels back here, and while he is doing that, I would like to thank everybody at Bassett for... Uh, taking care of us and sent, sending us some wheels and i'd also like to thank bubba gale for uh getting us in contact with him and uh taking care of us in the ways that he has bubba's been a huge part of my my uh team over the past probably two months and uh we've been pretty successful with him uh he's shared a lot of knowledge with us so check this out be easy with them Now you gonna tell me how to drive a forklift? Oh. Right, you better get your ball. Easy. Oh, that's your ball. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand for this kind of abuse. Whoa! <laughs> It ain't much, but it's all I got. Man, I'm gonna have to call him back and, and get more. Rocky, I, I've done that before. All you gotta do is get that. Well, I was having a pedal. Yeah, you was having to do it all because Dad was busy trying to be destructive. Keep coming so hot. We'll unwrap these and show y'all what we're working with. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Why? Why do you keep hitting my wheels? These people saw what you and Drake Troutman did to these wheels, son. There's no sense in. Yeah, but we didn't hit them with hammers. Okay, I'm sorry. Or a forklift. That was a nice <laughs> torch. Anyways, all right, so again, we would like to thank everybody at Bassett for taking care of us and sending us these wheels. Um, this right here is a Bassett Ormer Edge. Uh, Low a, inertia. It's an inertia advantage, I believe is the correct name of this exact wheel. This is a two inch offset. This is standard, what we run on our MBs. But um, 
they have the the D holes instead of a uh, traditional wheel having a I don't know what you would consider it. It's got a smaller circle in it. Anyways, these are a lighter wheel. However, these are a more durable wheel, and this and, right here yep. is much different than what we're used to. Used to the little lip would roll up and cut into the tire, and man, these things are strong yep. right here. When you bend a Bassett wheel with an Armor Edge, you've tore some stuff up. Absolutely. Uh, these things, yeah. Yep. They'll do it. Yep. So uh, I've had really good success with these wheels. I'm so glad, so thankful that they jumped on board with our team. Again, we can't thank Bubba Gale enough for getting us in contact with them and uh, helping us out on this. I think that's another feature of it. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's yeah, that's, that's another, a that's an armor that's an edge. Inner lip yep. to keep yep. keep your tire from not hating the on other wheel brands. I'm just telling you, other wheels, eight inch wheels, are not like this. They some do not some do this. have that, but you got to special order that. And yeah. I think this comes in that's, this when you order an armor edge wheel from Bassett. This this yeah. is what you get. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Don't let that roll off. Oh the table, no, I would please. never. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we here we have our bead lock, our right front bead lock. I really didn't mean to do that. I'm down in my back, and normally my reflex would have been a lot quicker. I do apologize. I did not mean. We were talking about how tough they were. Look, it knocked the paint off of his floor and did not hurt the wheel. Might have been it a little, but. <laughs> Dude, I've been cooped up in the house for two days with a bad back, so I'm uh, I'm just glad to be outside. So don't be mean Listen, to me. I know I know you paid for some of these, but I plan on paying you back. Don't destroy them, or I can't pay for it. It's okay. It's just I'm paint. Just paint. Just paint. Look at my floor. Well, you'll have it. Just paint. So, Sean. All right. Anyways, Bassett wheels, everybody. Best best wheel you can get. From Thank you, Bubba Gill, for for hooking us up with some contacts to these people and other things, and we really appreciate that. And huge thanks to Bassett for yep. taking care of Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Yep. What you doing? What? We gotta hang your door, huh? Oh, can I show you? What uh? What's Mama got? What, what you got? So, Bo at Fast Shafts sent us a message. Whoa! We've dropped enough today. <laughs> you okay? I got it. I'm good. Um, hey. Sent us a message oh. after we broke a couple drive shafts and wanted to help out. So, we appreciate Bo at Fast Shafts. What, what we um, got in here? So we have two brand new carbon fiber drive shafts. Wow. And this one's labeled T-shirts, I believe. Thanks, so, Bo. Thank you so and much. And fast shafts, we appreciate it. We've Man, I'm telling you, these. we I was actually fixing to make this video and uh, that's what I was working on when you called me out here. But uh, we have been blessed with a lot of help here. So What's unreal. That? That's for Chase's tires. Which one says t-shirt? I thought it was that one. This <laughs> yeah, that one. Got a whole thing. Oh my gosh. Seriously. That's a good staple. Hey, get your paw. Get your paw. These are important. Yeah. Did you seriously just I mean, ask? I that's think, in there. I don't think I helped any. That's my, that's my left hand. I'm kind of weak in my left hand. Now. Give I don't think that'll mine. help her. Try this at home. So what what are you thinking's up in here? It's t-shirts. I'm all about the t-shirts. I'm I mean, all I, about the drive shafts. Does anyone know what the drive shafts does, look like? Does anyone know what bad happened to Papa Squirrel? <laughs> My back you come up? Yeah, he You're, just he hurt his back so bad. T-shirt? I'm yes. sure you did. Which one? What am I? Man, we're going to be representing on the road Ooh, here. Got a blue one. Oh, that's my color. That's not your size. That's Chase's size. Dang. 
Look, man, he hooked us wow. up. Thank you so much, Bo. We really appreciate it. You're small. What's up? What you got there? Besides left-handed or right-handed cheers? Um, Bo at Fashas hooked you up. It looks like it. That's surprise to me. We had more t-shirts. We do. Okay, that's good. I think I get the rest. Okay, stop. Stop. Got it. Oh. Dang. What's a, what size is my Small. What's a small have on it? S. S M. That's Rocky. Perfect. What we got here. Let's see. Extra large. Very cool. Thank y'all very much. Chase their long oh, sleeves. Man. Long sleeves. Wow. Mm. That what? is awesome. Is this me, Mom? Yes, that's you. Yay. Do they have a, do they have a blue one in my All side? right, so, again, thank you very much. It takes this kind of stuff to go do what we're planning on going and doing, so we greatly greatly appreciate it. Why are, why are we taking the drop shots off? All right, and with that, I'm shutting her down for real this time. We've dropped everything that we've opened. Yeah, she dropped the drive shaft. She called him. I, I called him, look. Called yeah, him. he... They've already seen it. Wasn't as bad as you made it look. Okay, that's cool. We did it. <laughs> Dad, like I'm awesome, Ruth. Backwards, sister. Oh my God. Carbon fiber. Stuff. Don't let that roll off. Oh, the table, no, I please. would never. <laughs> okay. So, uh, here, we, here we have our bead lock, our right front bead lock. I really didn't mean to do that. I've been down on my back, and it, it didn't hurt this thing at all. Um, Nothing that we can't do. 